Hey, <laughs> I feel like it's been forever since I had an opportunity to uh, work on the bus and make a video. I have been working on the bus in the background, but it, uh, the whole spray foam thing just kind of stopped significant forward momentum. So we've been, you know, we, we went ahead and ordered our floor, picked it up, got that set up. So we, we have the materials for that now. Been working on uh, picking paint colors and stuff, but uh, we undershot on our earlier insulating and had to order more insulation, which was fine. Took a couple days. They're great at getting it to me quick. Um, the problem is that uh, it has to be above a certain temperature to spray, and it hasn't been for almost two weeks. Uh, so that's been kind of killing me, just kind of waiting on the, the weather. So today it's warm enough and I'm going to deliberately leave the doors of the bus shut so that it gets really just stays nice and warm, drives our yield up as much as we can. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I'm already sweating. I've been here maybe 20 minutes and uh, it's, it's going to be a long, hot, sweaty day while we work on this. One of the... So we're, we're, I'm going to insulate the sides today. I'm going to just focus on that, make sure that gets done. One of the things is I need to be able to reach down into a crevasse like this, and uh, insulate down there. So I've extended their little gun, a piece of PEX tubing, and hopefully it's long enough but doesn't clog up. So I'm going to do a small row on the bottom of every cavity first to kind of form the bottom. Then I'm actually going to try uh, filling in with some chunks from the stuff I've had to cut off the ceiling, which that was fun. Um, just to kind of save some of that waste. I don't want to create air pockets, so they've got to be small, uh, small chunks. But yeah, we're, we're going to start with the base. That way nothing can fall out the bottom and then uh, do a little bit of that to kind of fill in the gaps, put a cover on it and then fill the sides in. And hopefully I can reduce the amount of trimming that has to be done. So that's the plan. We'll see what actually happens. Uh, spray foam and I don't exactly get along. So while I'm getting suited up here, I'm going to tell you a little story. Once upon a time, back in 2017, when I was had first got the bus, got the bus at the end of 2016, uh, drove it here from Washington, DC, and, oh gosh, I'm stuck. And uh, I'd gotten the, you know, the floors out, the seats out, all the standard bussy things that have to be disconnected. <laughs> I decided that I was going to make sure to really not cut any corners. So I got a grinder, got a, a, a brush wheel, and I took the floor down to shiny metal everywhere except for this front section, uh, which is on the list of things to do. Took it all the way down with the grinder. And uh, super, it was a mess. Like, so I started, put that on last. So I started uh, wearing a Tyvek suit like this, right? Makes sense? Keeps my clothes clean. Um, and at that time, I also <laughs> was living in my truck, which uh, if anybody's interested, let me know and we can talk about that and how that all went down. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm suited up like this. Hmm, I guess this goes on before the goggles. Suited up like this. A 
all ready to go. Um, and I would, you know, grind for hours. Grinding for literal hours at a time wearing this get up. And I'd go out because uh, I'd go outside and stand and get some fresh air because, you know, this gets old after a little bit. And then uh, one day we got a call from the storage unit and they wanted to know if we were cooking meth in the bus. And at the time, I just, I was very confused. It's like, no, we're not cooking meth. Why would you think that? Like, well, people, you know, saw you and thought maybe you were cooking meth. And I'm like, I don't look that scary, do I? Like, it was a month or two later, I realized they had probably seen me come out in this get up. And you know, 2017 Breaking Bad is like on TV and everybody associates those images with cooking meth or various drugs. So we lost our fancy 24-7 uh, access code because of that. At least they didn't make us move the bus. Um, we weren't cooking meth, so <laughs> that was probably in our favor. But yeah, made it, uh, made it a little tricky to keep working on it. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, but it's done. I had only really done the sides and it started spluttering and popping and like, oh no, it's out of stuff already. Um, so I just kind of started praying like, Jesus, let this be enough because I can't buy any more. Um, and yeah, I, I, think, I think we got there. We've got more than we needed. Is it perfect? No. Am I perfect? No, that's why it's not. But I think I, I'm, I'm feeling good about it. So yeah, super, super happy today with this end result. So apparently the bus has a few like small leaks. Um, has is the wrong word. Had a few small leaks. I have to fill that hole. This one filled in pretty good. Um, yeah, so it just seemed to leak through the leak through some holes, and uh, we lost a little bit to the outside, but all in all, not too bad. <laughs> Got some people driving by who probably think I'm crazy, but oh well. They don't know that the uh, gate opens automatically. And they sent some poor kid to go push the button. Maybe I'll tell them someday. All right, I'm gonna clean up and we'll uh, call this part done.